Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. I, I gotta tell you guys, in my humble opinion, this moment, this very second, is the most exciting time there has ever been to hold XRP. I, I really strongly believe that. And, and I've been here for, in, in the crypto space, and an XRP holder for three years now. Fine, I wasn't there for the rest of it. But I, I, I'm aware of the history of what was occurring during the time when I was not there. And I still firmly believe this is the most exciting time ever for XRP holders. I, I genuinely believe that. And fine, you could make the argument that, oh, if we had uh, known about XRP back in the day and invested it when it was like half a penny, then uh, would have already had our moon Lambo time, all that. Kind of, okay, fine, I get that. But, you know, there are trade-offs to that. Things were way less certain back then. And, uh, and today, like you see XRP actually functionally being used. In addition to that, how about that Spark token? This is astonishing to me. Look, there are 21 cryptocurrency exchanges now with the, uh, the news of this, this brand new one uh, that, that have announced that they are going to, for, for their customers, these cryptocurrency exchanges are going uh, to offer wallets for Spark tokens to be distributed in the future here. And I suspect that most, if not all of these cryptocurrency exchanges will allow the trading of Spark on their platforms because why the hell are they not? If they're going to the trouble to set up the wallet, you're telling me they're not going to want to make money on the buying and selling of this? I, I, I can't imagine that being the case here. And so here's the headline from Crypto Comes. XRP fork flare to be supported by first exchange from top five. So this is a big one. This is a big, big, big one. And so... Um, you know, we're still waiting for some other big names, like, for instance, it's, uh, you know, if you see Binance, which that actually could happen. I'm a little more skeptical about Coinbase. Maybe they'll allow this for the Spark token, to, to, but they're just, they're so weird about the way they, um, relative to other cryptocurrency exchanges, they're kind of weird about the way in which they go about listing uh, coins. It's just a whole different business approach that I personally, and nothing against Coinbase whatsoever, I, I do mean that, but I, I don't know. Maybe it makes sense, I guess, if they gave me the inside baseball details then uh, maybe I'd say, okay, it's a good idea, but I'm just kind of skeptical of it because there's so many coins out there. And not that they should just list every crappy coin on the planet, but there are more that they, they their customers would love. And, and to, to not include something like Spark, which is, is um, supported certainly by Ripple and other uh, major names in the world of crypto, it would just be kind of a shame to, to not support it here. So um, anyway, I'm going to be running through that, and I got some other news for you. But before we go any further, if you would, please delicately tap the like button. I'd appreciate it. And also, if you are a fan of this this whole uh, Spark Token thing, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. Now, since there are always new people coming in, especially over the last few days, uh, for those of you not in the know, and I'll just be very brief with this, uh, you do have an opportunity to get cryptocurrency for free. There's a, the Flare Networks, there's a, that's an organization, uh, which will be distributing uh, Spark tokens, and that's just a, a blockchain that is a utility fork of XRP. And for every XRP that you hold, you are allowed to claim um, one uh, Spark tokens, uh, one Spark token at, at a minimum. There are the reasons I won't get into the video that you, you may end up getting more than one, maybe more than a one-to-one -one ratio right there. Uh, so exciting times. It's all for free. You know, and right now, Spark has a, has a market price of zero because it hasn't even been distributed, but I don't believe that will always be the case. Um, I did want to highlight this too. Um, there's an individual that was sharing some stuff about, um, and he's named the Oracle here on Twitter, and uh, he's sharing some stuff about Amazon Web Services and just being partnered with Ripple. And I've, I've actually talked about this in the channel in the past, but I've seen this all over Twitter, and I just wanted to address this because, like, um, I think that there are so many legitimate reasons to be very excited as XRP holders right now, but I, I want to make sure that we stay away from the unnecessary hype, uh, because there's... <laughs> I'm not kidding, like with the, the, the actual real world adoption of XRP and just market cycles in general, knowing where we are today, like to me, it's super exciting. And look, I don't have a financial background. Don't buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write, period. I'm not offering financial advice, but um, to me, it's just an exciting time. And so when I see something like this that got retweeted effectively with between retweets with quotes and not quotes, 100 and, was it 154 times. Um, I, and, and that's why I ended up seeing it ultimately. I was just like, well, let's, let's just kind of simmer things down here a little bit. And by the way, funny enough, I highlighted this. I mean, nothing against this, this individual whatsoever. I just wanted to share my opinion on this. And if you disagree, that's perfectly fine. But they happen to have 589 followers. How about that? 
X- I'm still waiting for, for XRP to go to $589 by the end of the year 2018. I'm still waiting for that. There we go. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and so there, uh, there's this here. And this, this actually is real. You know, this is real information right here. And is Amazon Web Services, absolutely massive. I'm sure many of you are aware of it. It's, the, you know, the cloud storage. And so you can see Ripple here is an official partner um, of, of uh, you know, a- Amazon and Ripple. They're official partners here. And so you might hear them think, oh my gosh, what does that mean? XRP use this or that? And the answer is no. And I think Galgatron put it best by when he retweeted this and wrote, please stop the mindless dot connecting. Ripple being an AWS, that's Amazon Web Services partner, just means Ripple uses AWS servers like a million other companies do. Exactly. And so that's why I just wanted to be clear here. And, and maybe it, you know, it could be the case that there's just a legitimate uh, misunderstanding of what it means when they use the word partner there. It means they're a customer. That, that's all that we're talking about there. But there are all sorts of other legitimate reasons to actually be excited. And so that's why I just want to be clear. Like, we, we don't need that stuff. We just need the real, the real, um, the, you know, the, the, the real deets on what's going on. And to, to me, that's more than sufficient. Like, I, I feel astonished every day that I have the opportunity to purchase what I'm purchasing here in the nascency of this this crypto asset class, which is just going to balloon in the coming years, I firmly believe. Which is, again, an unprofessional opinion, not financial advice, just sharing what I think. But into this piece about to spark now. Flare, the first ever utility fork of XRP Ledger, uh, will have spark tokens as a backbone element of its tokenomics. Now its seamless distribution is supported by top-level Korean exchange BitHum. And so, uh, likely the vast majority of people listening are not familiar with BitHome. Maybe you've heard the name, uh, but this actually is legitimately massive. And they have this little subheading. Exchange from Top 5 Now uh, supports Spark Airdrop. According to the official announcement by the BitHome team, all of its XRP holders will receive Spark tokens seamlessly. As with other exchanges, Spark will be distributed one-to-one to the XRP balances registered at the time of the airdrop. Uh, the snapshot will take place on December 12th, 9 a.m. KST. The exact date of XRP payouts will be shared by Flare Networks later, but it will most likely occur in early 2021. Although the seamless airdrop... Actually, let me pause right there. You know what's cool? So if that's right, imagine maybe it's January or February. This might be just in time to be traded on exchanges, if it happens that soon, uh, for the crazy portion of the, the next part of this market cycle. Like, that would be freaking insane if we've got Spark tokens and the FOMO and all this. It's really going to be something to watch, I think. And look, I don't know what's going to happen, but can you imagine a world where what if Spark tokens, because there's fewer of them, what if... Uh, just based on the FOMO, a Spark token ends up being worth more whatever XRP ends up being worth, even if just for a period of time. That would be really interesting. I don't know if it's going to happen, but it certainly wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, the piece continues. Although the seamless airdrop of Spark tokens is supported by numerous wallets, exchange services, and even crypto lending platforms, BitHome is the first top-tier platform to take part in this program. Which is, again, I know it's it's not in the... Because, look, it's not even you know, English speaking. So it's like, you know, the, the areas in which this is used. So maybe we don't understand just by the name how big of a deal this is, but it legitimately is. Don't forget that XRP is global. You know, it's traded globally. But um, although the uh, seamless airdrop of Spark tokens is supported by numerous wallets, exchange services, and even crypto lending platforms, uh, BitHome is the first top tier. I'm sorry, I just read that part. Uh, BitHome is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in uh, South Korea, a crucial blockchain hub. According to Binance's coin market cap, it is ranked fifth in the list of spot exchanges with the highest trading volume. Uh, founded in 2014, BitHome Exchange processed $485 million in trading volume in the last 24 hours across 122 spot trading pairs. Guys, that's a massive quantity, like, like, like the, the volume, rather. It's just a massive volume. And I, we might get some additional big surprises, though. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about this. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But they have this little subheading in this piece titled, More Giants to Come, question mark, which is why my voice goes up like this with the inflection, yes? As the XRP army is getting closer to its much-anticipated spark airdrop, its support by top-level exchanges becomes a red-hot topic for community discussions. As covered by Crypto Comes Previously, Flare Networks negotiated the collaboration with Binance, Binance US, and Kraken. 
However, the official settlements have not yet been reached. Also, Bitstamp is considering the support of Spark Distribution right now. So, can you imagine if they all jump in, though? This would be freaking huge. I, uh, again, like I said, cautiously optimistic. We'll see if it happens, but we're going to know sooner than later because, what is it? You know, it's, it, what? We're over halfway through November, and you got the snapshot date on December 12th, so. Not much time to figure out. And they got to get, look, to be fair, like if, if these cryptocurrency exchanges are going to do this and they want to be fair, they need to make sure that they're allowing enough time for customers to, to hear the news and then move their funds. So you would think within the next week or two tops that we'd have final a final decision on this. And uh, for some of these cryptocurrency exchanges, the bigger ones that have acknowledged this, it would kind of stink if they said, yeah, we're looking into this and their ultimate decision for some reason that they may or may not articulate. What if the answer is no? That would be... Super, hopefully they're leaning to yes, just the fact that they even acknowledged it. I'm just, it's just a hope thing, but I hope that that means that they're leaning towards yes. We shall see. But man, the volume, oh man, for all this, with all these exchanges coming more, the Spark token trade volume could be ridiculous. And we won't know until it happens, but that's why I keep saying cautiously optimistic. And hey, they're free tokens, so I firmly intend to uh, plan to, uh, to claim mine. And I'll talk about that more when I actually do it. Um, I'm probably going to wait until early December because I just feel like being lazy about it. But I am going to do it. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.